here, the weather's perfect and everyone's showing up. <laughs> well, let me tell you how I feel about this wedding. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's extended the fanatic mode. Uh, it's quite exciting right, for me right, to be yeah. here. Yeah, On the day of my precise. youngest daughter's wedding. I remember the day she was born quite fondly. Her mother pushed and pushed and pushed. But she not, did not want to be expelled from her mother's vagina. So the doctor had to go in with these metal forceps and physically yank her, yank her from her mother. And when she was born, she was kind of funny looking because she had this, uh, all these marks on her face from the forceps. But she was a lovely baby. Absolutely lovely. And then she became a child. She learned to crawl. She learned to walk. She learned to run. She learned to poop in her pants. And she did it in her pants. My little Liz. We never had to bail her out of jail, so that was really good. She graduated from college. She got a job. Somewhat. So it was pretty good. I mean, it, it's a good day today. It's a good day. So I guess we should have a wedding and have some fun and celebrate the marriage of uh, Lindsay and Timmy and uh, have a nice party and have the whole family get together, uh, maybe do a group hug or something like that. That's how good I feel today. Peace out. Very excited about the weather. We have beautiful weather. And it's going to be a beautiful night. I am very happy about the wedding. I'm really happy. I watched Lindsay grow up and now she's getting married. This is really exciting for a grandmother. But thank you for asking. I'm so happy to be here even though it's a long way from my hometown. Oh, I look forward to seeing all my grandchildren and dancing with them and just having a wonderful meal and having fun. I am so excited for this day. It's been going. These two have been, are meant for each other. They are two peas in a pod. So couldn't be happier for this day to finally come. It'll be a fun life for them. <sighs> That's a very good question. Part of me says for the, it to be over, but I want it to go on because it's a beautiful day. It's, uh, I'm, I think, walking, having Lindsay walk down the aisle. But I'm looking forward to that the most. I'm really excited. We intend on dating for a million years. Love Tim, I'm so excited for you. Love you with all my heart. You guys are gonna be great. It's gonna be a wonderful day, and yay! It's all about love. I'm excited to see people. And so am I. I think Tim and Lindsay are having a great wedding. We're out here at the Stone Manor. It's a beautiful place in the country. Beautiful waterfalls. <laughs> you know, a beautiful building and a nice tent. We're all excited to see all of our relatives and friends. And especially our cousin Justin. And we're going to have a big dance afterwards. So we've worked <laughs> out a routine that. to dance. I think dancing, don't you, Cheryl? Maybe, maybe. But I'm looking forward to seeing my cousin Lindsay because last time I saw her was a couple years ago and we were going for a hike and we had some good talks. And I want to see what's going on with her. She's probably getting married. I'm not really sure. She's probably pretty busy. And I'm excited to see my Uncle Mark so I can tell him what I learned about fecal transplants. <laughs> Hi! We, say we love them. See you in God bless your really wedding. Soon. It's time together. Oh, I'm really excited for today's, today's wedding. I've been looking forward to it for quite a long time. I'm so happy to be here. Well, I really like weddings. I like it when they get married. And then, of course, I really like the party afterwards, especially the dancing. <laughs> Yes, I have lots to say, but I'll keep it short and simple. Tim and Lindsay, I hope your life together is filled with lots of happiness. Unfortunately, it will be have some sadness as well, but keep communicating. Have fun together. It's always great to have fun together. 
and just enjoy every day that you have and never go to bed mad at each other. Always be happy and tell each other how much you love each other. I'm very excited. Um, I, well, maybe probably drinking with the family, probably drinking with the family, but also the experience of seeing, seeing the wedding. This is a very nice spot. We just got here five minutes ago. Uh, Nita, come here. Join me in this interview. That's good. Yes. So Nina's coming. Maybe. Um, come here. Come here. What are you excited about today, Nina? All right, words of motivation. Well, so, you know, I guess, I haven't really thought about it as an actual statement, but I'm really proud of you guys. Um, you seem really happy. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. one of the mm -hmm. happier couples in the family. Very well adjusted, very sweet, really always had a positive experience around you too. Um, and I have these two siblings here that are looking at me weird. What else to say about this moment? We're gonna edit this a lot. <laughs> I don't know. Congratulations! Need to say congratulations. Hi. It is, first of all, this place is gorgeous. The day you couldn't have ordered a better day. What a gorgeous day. And all the pictures and everything's gonna be beautiful and everybody looks good and happy and I'm very happy for the bride and groom that whole end of ceremony. I wish you a wonderful, happy, fun-filled life. Okay, well, Justin, that is a good question. I feel great about the wedding. I liked him a lot. I met him four or five years ago. Seems like a great guy. And uh, I'm really happy for Lindsay. I think that will work out great. Um, probably just getting to see everybody. I don't know, maybe, maybe a little dancing. And to Lindsay and Tim, I, I do, I do. I would just like to say I wish you guys the best, and I'm sure we'll see each other, continue seeing each other every four years. So no need to make too many plans. And uh, yeah, I'm happy for you guys. I'm excited and very anxious to get out there and see Lindsay. Seeing her walk down the aisle, I haven't seen her all day. Oh. And yeah, you got me on the spot. <laughs> uh, I can't wait to be out there. It's going to be so exciting. And it's just something that I've been dreaming about for a long time. I can't wait to see you walk down the aisle. Towards me. I'm excited. Seeing Tim watching me walk down the aisle. <laughs> and then the party after. Congratulations for your marriage. You. We're so happy for you. We missed walking down the aisle because we went to the barbecue instead of the wedding. We're but sorry! We got to see most of it, so we're so happy. Congratulations! What do you have to say to Tim and Lindsay? Congratulations, Lindsay! Congratulations! Best wishes! Beautiful wedding! Thank you for inviting us! Hey,
And I just want to say, from Wendy and myself, from Billy and Jim, from Steve and Kim, greetings on marriage of Lindsay Ann and Kimmy Boy. But perhaps nobody's happier to be here than myself. And I am so thankful that everybody can be here to celebrate this time and this marriage. And there's a word that I want to describe about this little girl and this little guy, because that's the reason we're here. It's because they love each other. And that love they made public today in a form of a legal commitment to each other, such that driver's license change, names on checkbooks change, indebtedness now comes together, and it's that love that is the blinding blue that holds you guys together. But I want you two first to do this. Take a deep breath and blow it out. And everybody, take a deep breath and blow it out. Because all that nervousness, all that tension that went into your marriage, when you take a deep breath and you release it, your brain is doing something that it normally doesn't do. It doesn't have to do that to breathe. Your lungs your diaphragm know to breathe for you. But when you take that deep breath, you can get rid of that tension. And you can use that at times of stress and meditation. Because marriage is now going to be fun, but it's going to be stressful. And there are going to be times when your love isn't pure. There are times when your love hopefully is not boastful. There are times when your love doesn't look at each other and keep a tally. But it's a pure love that grows over a period of time. And your love is also going to change when you have children. Because when you have children, those necessary hours of sleep are going to be given up. And you're going to be cranky. And you're not going to be happy with certain things. But I want you to remember these words. When you are getting cranky and tired and you're not happy with each other, take a deep breath and remember why you said I do. So with that, I would like everybody to raise your glass. Congratulations, and to everybody here, thank you for your love, and I look for your support to keep this bond together for eternity. Cheers! Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, a great big round of applause for the father of our bride. And now please sit back, relax, and do a good fellowship of the love of our really wells. And our excellent Peter Sam will be around to serve salads, and then we will be free to invite you to our station this evening. I'm so sorry about stepping in front of you, babe. I'm sorry. I'm fine.
the peace that is given to us this day, for the future which we hope to see, for the health, the work, the food, and the bright skies that make our lives delightful, and for our friends living and dead, especially Larry Jenkins, Artis Williams, and Harry Gorley. Watch over all of us, and grant us your mercy and your love. Amen. And you may be seated. And who brings Lindsay to be married this day? Her mother and I. <laughs> As we begin, we hear these words of joy from Psalm 100. Shout out to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord in rejoicing. Come before him in glad song. Know that the Lord is God. He has made us, and we are his. His people were the flock that he tends. Come into his gates in thanksgiving, his courts in praise. Acclaim him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his kindness is forever, and his faithfulness is for all generations. Now, dear friends, we come together today in the presence of God and one another to witness the marriage of Lindsey Gorley and Timothy Miller. Surround them with our prayers to share in their joy. As we do, we remember that throughout human history, marriage has been regarded as a sacred commitment. The Hebrew scriptures teach that marriage was established by God from the beginning of creation. In the book of Genesis, we read that it was not good for man to be alone, so God created a partner for him that was bone of his bones, flesh of his flesh, and therefore a man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife. Jesus repeats these words in the Gospel of Matthew, but adds, What therefore God has joined together, let nobody separate. So we see that marriage has been given to us in order that husband and wife might share a lifetime of companionship, support, and comfort, both in prosperous times as well as in times of difficulty and also that families might live in love and stability so that our whole human society might continue on a firm foundation. Therefore, marriage should not be entered into lightly, but reverently, considering the purpose for which it was established. Now, Tim, Lindsay, your marriage is intended to join you for the rest of your lives. And a relationship so intimate and personal will change and shape your identity from this day forward. It offers you the hope and the promise of a love that is true and mature. Let God be your guide and your helper as you begin your new life together. And now we will hear some readings. I carry your heart with me. I carry it in my heart. I am never without it. Anywhere I go, you go, my dear. And whatever is done by only me is your doing, my darling. I fear no fate, for you are my fate, my sweet. I want no world. For beautiful, you are my world, my true. And it's you are whatever a moon has always meant, and whatever a sun will always sing is you. Here is the deepest secret nobody knows. Here is the root of the root, and the bud of the bud, and the sky of the sky of a tree called life, which grows higher than soul can hope or mind can hide. And this is the wonder that's keeping the stars apart. I carry your heart. I carry it in my heart. In the reading from Ecclesiastes, two are better than one, because they have a good reward for their toil. For if they fall, one will lift up his fellow. The woe to him who is alone when he falls and has not another to lift him up. Again, if two lie together, they keep warm, but how can one keep warm alone? And though a man might prevail against one who is alone, two will withstand him. A threefold cord is not quickly broken. And grace and peace be yours this day of joy and always. Amen. What wonderful readings to have as part of your wedding. E.E. E. Cummings on the one hand and Ecclesiastes on the other hand. It turns out that these are two fine pieces of world literature, certainly endeared down through the generations. I think if you took Ecclesiastes out of scripture and published it as an essay, it would be a bestseller. The same thing for E.E. E. Cummings' poems. But I don't know if you realize that both E.E. E. Cummings and Ecclesiastes are not exactly the most romantic of people. E.E. E. Cummings didn't have the best life, things didn't go so well for him. And the book of Ecclesiastes is, is a rather cynical book, a rather pragmatic book. Certainly people who have been hardened by life generally find something useful in these two books. They really aren't fairy tales. That being said, I can't imagine better readings for your wedding. And the reason for that is this. See, in America today, we tell one particular story when it comes to love. And we start really young, right? We start with the little ones. And the story is a story of 
someone trying to find love, right? And it takes all of this work and effort and there's conflict and there's a villain that always has to be overcome. And whether it's Cinderella or Snow White or Buzz Lightyear, whatever the case, the story is the same. They overcome that and then relationship or friendship or that true love is found and then voila, everything is great after that. Happily ever after, we say. Every romantic comedy that you're going to be watching from here on out has the same basic storyline. This is the story that we tell. Whether it's superheroes, whether it's princesses, whether it's the stories we go and we watch um, at the movie theater, whatever it is, this is our favorite story. The problem is it's a lie, right? We know that it's a lie, though it's a nice lie. It's a really good lie, but it's a lie. There is no happily ever after. And that is why I think having these readings makes sense. There's no happily ever after because we realize conflict is a part of life no matter what happens. Good things come, bad things come. There is much in life that we need help with. And exactly this is what we hear in Ecclesiastes. Here, this kind of weathered, pragmatic old preacher of thousands of years ago, in one of his brighter moments, says this. Five words, two are better than one. Why? They're stronger together. They're more secure together. They are happier together. They have more courage together. Two are better than one. And see, today, this marriage, it looks like a fairy tale, right? It's stunning. It's beautiful. We couldn't have had a more perfect, beautiful, amazing day. But it's not a fairy tale. It's deeper than that. It's a commitment. It's a lifetime commitment. And you don't make those kind of commitments just because you want to or because you have a romantic feeling inside you. You do it because you need to. And you found out that you need each other. That's why we're here. Two are better than one. You know it. It's no fairy tale, but it's the truth. Amen. <coughs> and now marriage is a great commitment. And so beginning with you, Tim, I would ask you, <coughs> Tim, will you have Lindsay to be your wife? Will you love her and comfort her when she is strong and healthy and when she is sick and weary? And will you forsake all others to be hers alone? If so, please say, I will. I will. And Lindsay, will you have Tim to be your husband? Will you love him and comfort him when he is strong and healthy and when he is sick and weary? Will you forsake all others to be his alone? If so, please say, I will. And now I would ask all the family members who are here to answer in support of this marriage. Will you give your blessing to Tim and Lindsay? Will you share your experience and your wisdom with them, even as you learn from them as well? And whatever may come, will you promise to encourage them in their commitment to one another? If so, please answer by saying together, we will. And now I would ask all of you who are gathered here, friends and family alike, since you are all witnesses of the vows that Lindsay and Tim are making today, will you promise to do everything in your power to uphold and care for this couple in their marriage? If so, please answer together by saying, we will. We will. Now you may face one another and hold hands as you exchange your vows. And Lindsay, we're going to start with you. Please repeat after me. Tim, on this day... I give to you in the presence of God and all our witnesses my promise to stand by your side in sickness and in health through good times and bad I promise to love you without reservation comfort you in times of sadness encourage you to achieve your goals laugh with you and cry with you Grow with you in mind and spirit. Always be open and honest with you. And cherish you. For as long as we both shall live. And Tim, please repeat after me. Lindsay, on this day. Lindsay, on this day. I give to you in the presence of God. I give to you in the presence of God. And all our witnesses. And all our witnesses. My promise to stand by your side. My promise to stand by your side. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Through good times and bad, through good times and bad, I promise to love you without reservation. I promise to love you without reservation. Comfort you in times of sadness. Comfort you in times of sadness. Encourage you to achieve your goals. Encourage you to achieve your goals. Laugh with you and cry with you. Laugh with you and cry with you. Grow with you in mind and spirit. Grow with you in mind and spirit. Always be open and honest with you. Always be open and honest with you. And cherish you. And cherish you. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. And now may I have the rings. And let us pray. We give you thanks, O God of grace, for your love and faithfulness to your people. May these readings be symbols of the promise that Tim and Lindsay have just made with each other, both now and forever.
I'm at. All right, so Tim, please take Lindsay's ring and repeat after me. Lindsay, with this ring, I give you my heart. Don't put it on just yet. Oh, I'm excited. All right, let's try it. Lindsay, with this ring, I give you my heart. Lindsay, with this ring, I give you my heart. I promise from this day forward. I promise from this day forward. You shall not walk alone. You shall not walk alone. May my heart be your shelter. May my heart be your shelter. And my arms be your home. And my arms be your home. Now you may put it on. <laughs> Please repeat after me. Tim, with this ring, I give you my heart. Tim, with this ring, I give you my heart. I promise from this day forward. I promise from this day forward. You shall not walk alone. You shall not walk alone. May my heart be your shelter. May my heart be your shelter. And my arms be your home. And my arms be your home. And you may put it on this way. And now may God establish and sustain you, strengthen you in your commitment to one another, defend you from every enemy, and lead you into all peace. May love be a seal upon your hearts, a mantle about your shoulders, a crown upon your foreheads, that you may find delight in each other and grow in holy love until your life's end. And now Tim and Lindsay, by their promises before God and in the presence of this assembly, have joined themselves to one another as husband and wife. Those whom God has joined together in love, let no one separate. And now it's time to tie the knot. <laughs> Tim and Lindsay are tying a triple fisherman's knot. Oh, it's not, they've been practicing. <laughs> this, this knot represents the past that has brought these two together, the present moment of this union, and the future they plan together from this day forward. Although this fisherman's knot is one of the simplest knots, it is also one of the strongest. The rope itself will break before the knot will. <laughs> well done. <laughs> and now let us pray. We praise you, O oh God, for the joy that Tim and Lindsay have found in each other. And we pray that their love and faithfulness may reflect your gracious love and enrich our common life. Give them gentleness and patience, affection and understanding. Readiness to trust one another, when they hurt each other, the grace to acknowledge their fault and to give and receive forgiveness. Use all of us to support them in their life together. May you use each of us as a source of encouragement and grace. Strengthen and bless friends and family gathered here, even as we call to mind those who are absent from us. Console those who mourn and be present with those for whom love is a stranger. Look graciously on the world you have made and strengthen marriages, families, and communities everywhere. Defend and guide all who suffer want or anxiety. Most gracious God, you have made us in your image and given us over to one another's care. Hear the prayers of your people that unity may overcome division, hope would vanquish despair, and joy would conquer sorrow. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who has taught us to pray our Lord's Prayer together, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. And now the blessed and holy trinity make you strong in faith and love, defend you on every side, and guide you in truth and peace, now and forever. Amen. Now Tim and Lindsay, you may kiss. <laughs> It is my great pleasure to introduce to you Mr. Tim and Mrs. Lindsay Miller. Yeah.